Welcome back to the shipyard. Uh, today, Kolar's Battle Cruiser. Yes, uh, this is a lovely prize pack from the Trouble with Tribbles OP. Yeah, we're going in the Wayback Machine. It's, it's been a while. All right, uh, Kolar's Battle Cruiser is a D7. Uh, I believe uh, Kolar was from. Oh, I want to say Voyager. Um, that would at least make sense. But yeah, uh, Kohler's Battle Cruiser is a 3133 with Evade, Target Lock, Cloak, and Sensor Echo on the action bar. Three crew and a weapon slot. Tech, we're Klingons. We don't need no stinking tech. Yeah. Um. And the ability is kind of a fun ability. During the end phase, if your cloak token is on its red side, meaning you've fired, you may flip it back onto its green side. If you do so, place an ox power token beside your ship. And that's not such a bad thing, because if you look at the action bar, you got six green maneuvers, and the only thing that's red is a three come about. So yeah, you're doing okay. I, I like the ability. It's not quite the scimitars stay cloaked. I'm just going to stay cloaked. But uh, it's up there. All right. The generic is just weird. It's a 3131. It's battle station target lock evade. It's one crew, one weapon. And now because of the animated pack, it's 11 points. It was 18 or 16 back in the day. But yeah, it's down to an 11 point ship. So, uh, the generic D7 is much better than named D7s because you're paying 11 points for a three attack die ship and you get battle stations. Named D7s, you're paying a, a lot and you don't get attack quality aside from target locks. So, no offense to the ability, but it's not a nine point ability and the ability to scan or not to scan to cloak and sensor echo is not worth it. All right. Uh, our captain, of course, is Kolar. If Kolar has a battle cruiser, then Kolar is a captain that comes on the pack. Uh, your captain skill increases by two for each damage card assigned to your ship. Max of four. Which is. I mean, weird, but also true, though I guess if you put him on like a Negvar or a Vorcha, he could get more. Uh, if the damage is repaired, your skill number decreases accordingly. So this is a constant check. Um, you kind of think that rule of three would apply here, and, and I believe that it does because it's a modification. It's an increase. So really... Kolar can go up to a skill 6 once his ship has 2 damage, and, and boy, that's not worth it. Uh, so, let's see. You can feel the, Kuv, the Kuvah Mach elite talent at a cost of minus 2, and that talent costs 5, so at 3 points. Uh, we'll see if that's worth it. I'm guessing it's not. Um, most early Klingon talents were bad. Um... There were a few that were good, and the starter two kind of changed that. Um, so, Kuvahma. Um, when attacking with your primary weapon during the roll attack die step, you may discard this card to gain plus one attack die for that attack for every Klingon crew upgrade deployed to your ship, max of three. Then, suffer one critical damage to your hull. Well, I've seen worse Klingon talents, and if you watched my Kobayashi Maru playthrough on Tabletop Simulator, you'll know of at least one that I speak of. Um, yeah. Well, so you should stick three Klingon crew on here, so you get plus three attack die, and then suffer a crit, uh, which gives Kolar a skill boost after the fact. Huh. <sighs> It just doesn't feel that good. For three points, maybe I consider that. I mean, three points to get a plus three boost is pretty good. I 
I'm not gonna lie, that that actually does intrigue me. Um, but five, no, I'm not gonna pay five for that. That that's just that's just bad. And the crit, ew. that crit could be really bad. All right, um, crew. Well, we'll start expensive and go cheap and maybe finish on a good note. Morak, five points, action. If you're cloaked, disable this card to repair one of your shields. Sorry, if you're not cloaked, disable this card to repair a shield. Or, action, discard to flip up to three of your disabled shields over to their active sides. If you do this while you're cloaked, flip your cloak token to its red side. I literally would never do the second thing. I have never found a need to do it. There's like one or two cards that flip enemy shields and bringing a five point action discard just in case I move after they do that to me is not worth it. Uh, however, um, also if I'm doing something in a mission that would make me lower my shields, that's probably been an action and I'm not getting an action to flip my shields back up. Maybe if Martok 8's around to let me do it, but still, so rare. The repairing a shield for an action is so rare that I'm not in position to fire. Huh. I, I just, I can't justify five points for that being the only thing that I'm doing. Yeah, no, I, I'm not. I'm not taking Morok for anything. All right, Tigreth. Tigreth, save us, maybe. Action, place a battle station token beside your ship. Then place an ox power token beside your ship. You cannot perform a battle station action this round. I'll just take Drex or Engarin. Seriously. Drex is also a four-point card. And lets me convert all my battle stations to hits every time I attack. Granted, Tegreth can do this defensively. That's like their one advantage. But they come with an ox. I don't want an ox. I'll just take Drex. Shirega. Or maybe it's Chirega. I don't know. Uh, two points. There's hope. Uh, action if you're if you're not cloaked disable all of your remaining shields target a ship at range one to two that is not cloaked has no active shields see you already lost me disable this card in any two upgrades of your any two crew upgrades of your choice on the target ship this is a win more card win more cards have no place on a klingon no just no. Okay. Um, Kolar's Battle Cruiser. The ship is okay. Kuvmach Mach is somewhat intriguing. Those are the only cards in this pack that even get a C from me. Kolar maybe is getting a D plus C minus. Everything else. Oh, sorry. The generic. The generic is good. Everything else is failing and failing hard. Do you hear me? This pack is bad. Bad. I am normally... I normally try to find positive things out of these packs. This pack is not worth your money. Don't go buy it. I can't be clearer than that. All right. Sorry. Sorry if you spent a ton of money getting this. If you can get it on the cheap, it's worth having some interesting cards but it really isn't uh worth chasing for a whole lot all right um i think a 10 minute video sounds good so until next time we'll see you around the shipyard bye